Hello YouTube, Nathan. I'm doing some research on the Ghostbusters slime blower. Yes, the iconic snot cannon from Ghostbusters 2. I don't have any solid info on the prop, but I do have a lot of ideas on the mechanics and the recipe of the slime that they used in the movie. First off, how the blower works. Like in the name, Slime Blower, it's a device that blows slime. After looking at a scene where they slime up the inside of the Statue of Lady Liberty, going through it frame by frame, I figured it used a sprinkler head and a ring of compressed air jets around the inside of the barrel. I wasn't sure if the, the slime came out horizontally like many sprinkler heads, or they came out tiny holes around the lip. Going back to the screen caps, the slime started out from the center uh, like a 360 sprinkler, then blew out in a teardrop shape. The holes on the outside of the blower help with the smooth spray with the air jets. I don't know if the slime is pressurized or it's pumped through the blower. Is the air jets on a high speed fan or is it a jet? For the slime recipe, I've done a lot of looking around YouTube and most popular slime recipe was a combination of water, glue, applesauce, flour, borax, pudding, and shampoo. Not the recipe I was looking for. The slime was a, sort of a non-Newtonian fluid, kind of like a Mythbusters episode where they filled up a barrel of starch and water, which was mainly a either a thick pudding consistency or just it was like stopped when you hit it or, or slow when you squished it. I started looking around uh, for movie slime, Nickelodeon slime, both showing their slime but not how they made it. Mainly because it's a secret! <laughs> I finally found some possibilities in three substances. The first was on a Mythbusters episode uh, involving banana peels. They used a uh, animal birthing lube to make the Mythbusters stage extremely slippery while they did a little contest trying to get across the stage. The second is a bath toy called Bath Slime, spelled B-A-F-F. I found uh, this one on Random King's videos. I'm sorry, the King of Random. Uh, he, uh, it was, it was titled Slime Shooter, I think. It was a modified, uh, it was a modified flamethrower that he had made. And switched out the fuel with slime using this child bath toy slime to make the fluid. There are some videos on uh, YouTube called the Slime Bath Challenge where they use from uh, one packet to barrels of packets, you know, buckets of uh, this powdery stuff that they pour in. and. It is the perfect slime. It, it has the right consi uh, consistency, uh, looks gooey, and it sticks in between your fingers when you do that. The third is a cooked starch in water, but not just any starch. It specifically has to be potato starch. Uh, mainly because I uh, I tried uh, using uh, regular uh, cornstarch 
and it didn't work out very well. I tried uh, mixing it with flour, I tried uh, diluting it with uh, a little more water and soap, and it just didn't come out right. Sure, it was a bit slimy, but it didn't have that texture, uh, you know, sticking between your fingers when you did that. I was thinking of putting a prop test together with these three compounds to see what looked film accurately correct to the slime on Ghostbusters and uh, ringing up, rigging up a simple PVC tube with um, a sprinkler and blower in it. Uh, with the budget I have, all I can rig up is a simple PVC tube. I don't have the money to get the high technical sprinkler valves or, or air hoses or anything like that. Just simple. Just to see if the process works. The PVC slime shooter. That would possibly be it. And... Anyone know where I can be able to find some animal birthing lube? Uh, let me know. Thanks for watching.